Hey guys, what's up guys? Uh, RSTQ here, back with another um, yeah, PVM boss. Alright, so what we're going to straight out pull this time is we're going to do the PVM in boss Fo uh, Phoenix, I think it's called Phoenix. Alright, so what you're going to need is you're going to have to go into the archers. Well, I prefer archers, it's the reason why I'm using archers. Um, and basically buy yourself a full uh, dehyde set, which is not that hard. Uh, an archer helm, uh, rune crossbows, and an avas uh, accumulator. The avas accumulator is probably the most near crucial in part, uh, crucial part because that will keep, save you like multiple dragon bolts. It which costs quite a bit, or just bolts in general. Because they are not cheap. It's like one one k for one, not nine k for one. Sorry, that's not a lot. That's a lot. Like anyway, so back to it. Get um, any ammunition you want. I'd choose like depending from Runite to Onyx bolts. You know, Onyx bolts here. And if you really want to go all out with it, go into the mage store and get a blessed or a spirit shield. This is basically just like the KBDs, apart from you're going to be using a 44 attack again. Well, no, 44 prayer again. Uh, but, like, the KBD used mage, this one uses uh, attack. So, alright. Now we've got it set up, we're going to go quickly to the bank and set up our um, pots. Which is, we're just going to grab five of these, get rid of one, and get a shit ton of sharks. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to the boss and start. So the boss is straight at the bottom here. Phoenix, I think you can get like gilded armor from it, which is pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, right, wrong thing. Right, choose your melee and attack it. And I'd just say, right, probably, right, it, there's two good ways to do this. You can melee it, which I will do after this. This is why this one's going to be a longer video. Um, you can melee it, and that is a pretty well way, well, good way of actually killing the phoenix. But then you can also just bow it, like, it's not that hard. I'll probably just go quickly grab an abyssal without my um, thing. Um, it's kind of got like a little glitch type thing, I think it's a glitch, I'm not sure, but it should be sure in range too, but it just basically attacks you uh, in melee, it doesn't actually do any damage in any other things, so you're all good basically, you're not going to die, just attack it. <laughs> um, just going to quickly do something now. It's like way like uh I hope I get actually a good job from this. I probably won't. Um you won't have to use that many sharks either, so it's really, really well done. Um the phonix feathers you might actually not even need a full shark set up. Um but just in case, you know, maybe take out four of these just in case you actually get any good drops. But right, straight out right now, I'm just gonna kill off this boss. And see what PVMing items we get. Like, I hope we get gilded right now. <laughs> we get gilded, I'm just gonna sell it away. Get like 40 mil and get a freaking recoil ring or something like that. Um, come on. I have literally had no luck, right? I've just like bought a, a, a arcane sigil too, so I've got no bossing points left. I wish you'd just freaking die. Err. Uh, shall I take a second? Boom. Nope. I like it. 
I probably, do you know what, I think Abyssal Whips are probably the best way to go on this. Uh, I've dug quite a bit of, um, I haven't done Phonix that much inside of here, like genuinely on its own. Uh, I did it in Dungeoneering that, and got my Chaotic from it. But I guess you could do it on its own and get a Gilded, so. I know it drops good Primal in Floor 2, Complexity 4, but in Dungeoneering. But, yeah. I'll also have a tutorial on that at some point, maybe. Um, see what we got. Yeah, 43. I'm going to cut Sapphires. I want to actually how much I is. That's not. That's a preference of 150k. See, so you're making a little bit of money, not that much, but you can also make some big, mad cash stacks. But let's quickly just hover over and go get ourselves an Abyssal Whip. Um. Right, drop. We'll take a vessel alongside because vestas are probably better. I don't actually know. Just screw it. <laughs> right. Uh, modern. Uh, right, phoenix. There you go. Cheeky thing. Uh, no. All right. Let's see if this works out any better. I, um, you're going to have to have some 99 strength or something like that, just some actually good or worthy of actually having. I don't, I don't really use this way method much because I don't really, you know, Phoenix layer much. I don't find much point in it, but if you want to do it, it'd be my guest. I don't do it much, but you know. I'd like to see some people just, you know, start trying drop, uh, getting guild drops and etc. Do you know over here? I haven't really thought about it. I, I, there was a glitch once where you could just like hover the over the guy and it just like, you know, chuck a freaking like right click the feathers and it'd give you more than you should have and it's like a hundred K or something like that, three more. Like you should get like three more. They go for like fifty, thirty six K or something. I I actually don't know how much they go for. They, uh, all the prices may have changed by the time you watch this video. So yeah, it takes uh, a little bit of time. I, I'd probably choose the crossbow method, to be honest. Because crossies are probably better. Um, I'm probably... Right. I'm probably... Don't know if actually glaciers are actually classed as a boss. But they are in the boss area, so I will probably uh, just probably go get some glaciers and show you how to do that. Um, that will require mage, so there will be different items that you'll have to get. These uh, take didn't take that much. It's, it doesn't hit as hard as KVD either, so you haven't got much like lost much. <laughs> You're like probably gonna get hit like once or twice. It takes way too long. Seriously. I also just reached my uh, goal, which was like, I don't know. Let me just quickly show this, guys. Um, it was a time play to 24 hours, and I hit it like, yesterday, so it's pretty awesome. Um, I do play this server way too much. I think I'm getting like addicted. And this is really not a good thing <laughs> to say, but, you know. I, like literally it's just been I've just been playing it on and on like every night I'm like staying to like 4 in the morning playing it and it's like kind of getting a bit ridiculous now alright let's just quickly watch the, drop, watch the drop on this and it's anti-fire don't think that's that much let me check it uh, not much well so I don't think you much get much drops from this but you know if you want to try it out you can try it out Right, and that's the end of the video, so I'll see you later guys, peace.